mutiny. Running is a terrific sport. Running can improve your life in a whole number of ways. I have ran nearly half of my life. Thus, I am in a good position to testify to the benefits of running. I believe if you are determined to participate in a program of running at least three days a week, 30 minutes a day, you can improve your life quality-wise and quantity-wise. One great way you can improve your life is by the extra energy you get from running. Many runners and other athletes seem to be like the Energizer Buddy. As the commercial says, they keep going and going and going. Runners often seem to have endless energy. I don't understand why more people don't want this. Life is no fun when you're dragged out. Life is no fun when you're lethargic or listless. Life is not fun when you can't live it. You're fullest. When you are energetic, you inspire others. Others love to see your zest for life. They love to see how full you are living. I have observed workers who exercise and workers who don't exercise. Those who don't exercise feel nearly beat when day of work is through. Runners may feel tired after eight hours of work, but everything isn't taken from them. They can still have fun. By taking a little time out of your day to run, you will find other tasks become easier because you have all this wonderful energy to keep you driven. There is a social benefit of running. It can be very good fun to run with others. When you do this, you can essentially kill two birds with one stone. Not only are you having a good time connecting with a friend, but you also are able to help relieve the monotony that can sometimes set in. It's awesome to connect with your friend on a number of levels. You can connect by sharing the same activity. Also, you can connect in a conversation. Run, running can be great if you have a significant other. Even if the person doesn't run themselves, they can hop on a bike, pedal along while you're jogging. Runner's World magazine describes an additional benefit of running with someone else. This benefit is motivation. The magazine tells us that we may more easily convince ourselves we don't want to run than we are able to tell a running partner who has came all the way to our house early in the morning that we don't feel like running today. Many of those 
people who like the social aspect of running find it's a good way to meet with friends where you don't always have enough time. My friend Bill and I were both busy people in college. We didn't have enough time for our busy schedules to intersect. But we realized we both liked to run. Thus we used running whenever we could. There is an urge in humans to be a part of something bigger and better than themselves. Thus many people enjoy competitive running. I have participated in competitive running for about eight of about 12 years of running. Many love the team atmosphere. They love the camaraderie. I had a good time in high school across country and track. Many believe running is never dull when you have tons of people on the team with you. I have noticed that runners tend to have laid back, goofy personalities that many find enjoyable. If you're concerned about running certain times, running with others is great. Many people on cross-country teams don't like to run by themselves. It's too dull for them. They like someone else to keep their mind off their body the whole time. Also, others can push you, whether by running with you, making you stay with them, or by encouragement. It's great in the middle of the race to have your whole team cheering for you, wishing that you do well. If you're doing workouts, running with others can really help. Many of us have lots of stress in our lives. We have lots of tension. Unfortunately, we don't deal with this enough. We don't have sufficient opportunities to get rid of our stress. This is dangerous because stress can build up, can eat us away. Running is marvelous to soothe our nerves. It takes worry away. There's been a number of times where I may have been angry, worked up, worried, full of angst. But running makes it seem better. When you run, your body uses this nervousness, re-channel, positively. Also, many times when something's bothering us, it's a matter of perspective. Maybe we're being too hard on ourselves. Or we're fearing an outcome that may not necessarily happen. Running helps us see a different way. We start to see maybe it's not so bad after all. Many people who are violent should use running as a way to get their anger out of them. It can work wonders. Many people realize exercise is good but a lot of people don't have the inner strength and initiative to be disciplined to run religiously. These people often try to find justifications for their sedentary lives. One of the lamest, oldest excuses is, I don't have time. I believe that we essentially have 
time to do what we want to do. If something is a major priority, we can find time for it. It's a matter of how determined you are to do this activity. I worked at a summer camp a couple summers ago. One of my concerns was having time to run. But I was able to find time for run. We had to wake up early each morning. We had to work long days. If you wanted to run, you likely had to do that early. I awoke around 5.30 every day to run. I love sleep. I rarely neglect sleep if I don't have to. But I knew running is a priority. Some nights I would stay up as late as 11 or 12. That's tough when you wake up at 5.30. Indeed, there are people who have really busy schedules. I would like you to examine your work. Ask yourself, is this busyness needed? Many people work way too hard. We are workaholics in America. Ask yourselves if you really need to work this long. In Europe, they work much shorter hours. In many cases. Isn't a privileged society supposed to not make us work all day, yet people want to break their backs? I don't understand it. I have found how little a person needs to live on. Thus, I have often worked only enough to have me survive. Sometimes I have worked under what I really need. If it's unavoidable for you to work, maybe get really low wages due to some horrible boss, then I recommend this. Remember, time management is not often about pulling new time out of thin air, but using current time more effectively. Asking yourself where you have downtime that you can use better. Even busy schedules often have downtime. The key is to combine two tasks at the same time, if you can. Physical fitness is an excellent opportunity to do another task. There was a time when I was wondering how I would ever find enough minutes to practice all the speeches I wanted to practice. Then it dawned on me, I can practice speeches while I run. Just as was the case with social benefits, it is also the case here. You can kill two birds with one stone. You relieve monotony, you also get something very productive done. If you use your imagination, you can do any number of other tasks. Maybe you can go through an important case at your law firm in your head. Maybe you could rehearse what you're going to say to a client. Maybe you need to memorize all the capitals of a nation. Or school, run is a great time to do this.
if you're running on a treadmill, your options are even greater. You can read a book. You can study for a class. Essentially, there's rarely a good excuse not to do something as essential as exercise. People may not be aware that running can improve your creativity. We've all heard the expression, jog your mind. This can happen when you jog. It's unfortunate we have these notions of dumb jocks. Because I believe intelligent people can become better by exercise. I believe many smart people are not tapping in to their fullest potential. By exercise. By not exercise. When you exercise, the right side of your brain is stimulated. I have often felt very creative while running. I have thought of new ideas for poems. I have worked through political issues in my head. The creativity can help you see new angles. George Sheehan, a famous running writer, talked about how the philosopher Kierkegaard would use walking as a way to find creative solutions to his problems. George Sheehan himself wrote that he considered running to be a good first draft. Many ideas for columns came to him while running. It is unfortunate Western society has this dichotomy between the mind and body. If we look more holistically, we can see that to are connected. If you work your body, your mind can improve too. Creativity is one of the great joys of life. If you want to maximize, to optimize this creativity, you should run. Surely a big reason people run is for physical fitness. There's a whole number body systems that can improve by physical fitness. Mentally you can improve. You can become sharper. Surely your leg muscles become stronger. Even your arm muscles become stronger. Many of us love those with muscles. We have to realize something. We usually consider attractive people those with tone muscles, not bulging muscles. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Hulk Hogan are considered the most attractive people on the planet. But someone who works out aerobically has more subtle tone that we enjoy. Madonna is a prime example. Surely one of the most attractive women of our age. Your heart can improve. 
heart disease it kills way too many Americans there's no excuse for it your lung capacity can increase your immune system is boosted you're less likely to get sick if you exercise religiously it is awesome to rarely get sick when others have these viruses you can defend yourself from them very strong I remember one of my roommates my sophomore year in college was a hockey referee he was in fairly decent shape but he could have done a little better he didn't take care of himself the best I caught this nasty virus fortunately I am rarely ever sick but this virus did make me feel very good I still did most of my activity I don't think I missed a class because of it I didn't even miss practice because of it eventually it went away soon after it went away for me my roommate got it he had a huge fever he was sweating and panting he was almost losing his breath he had to be taken to the hospital I am glad running has enabled me to do this this is a great gift you can get from running we usually consider people who don't use something to take it for granted if you bought your child new clothes they never wore them you would probably think they wouldn't value these clothes the same can be said for our talents our abilities those who can run but don't aren't valuing that ability enough there's many people in wheelchairs who wish they could run they envy those who can but these people don't they're not valued they're taking it for granted George Sheehan would write that one of his best ways to worship was to run because he was using this great gift that was given to him people keep running because it makes them feel good not only does it feel good to accomplish something it feels awesome to stick to a running program to see results it feels wonderful to make sacrifices for something more sublime but you also often feel good while you are running at first it may be hard but once you get used to it you start to feel great it becomes a positive addiction unlike drugs it does your body wonders there are not negative side effects from running when you run your body produces positive chemicals called endorphins these are responsible for positive moods these endorphins make you happy to be alive
Many have even gotten a runner's high. This is a blissful feeling when you feel as if you're in an altered state, but an altered state that is not wreaking havoc on your body as what happens when people take those drugs. If you feel low, you should exercise. It's hard to feel bad when you're doing something. So wonderful. There have been times when I've been depressed, but running can help. I do not believe those who are physically fit are likely to have mental health problems. Instead of these doctors prescribing antidepressants, why don't they prescribe exercise? Could it be that if people exercise, they won't need the psychiatrist anymore? May not be the case in all examples, but we should wonder about this. Running can help clear out your mind. A mind that may be loaded with information in the information age. We have information everywhere. We need to not always have it come in. We need to release. Running allows us to do that. Brings us back to that equilibrium. Many people who work 95 jobs enjoy a run in the country after work or a run in a forest trip. The retreat helps them deal with problems better. There was this man who was feeling burnt out from his job. He wrote an article in Runner's World magazine about how this race in the forest helped him get a new perspective on it all. Many love what nature does for your sense serenity. Imagine that added on to the benefits of physical fitness. It is truly awesome. The retreat running can provide you in a new location is a healthy retreat as opposed to the escape of drugs. Running makes you more able to deal with your problems while drugs make you less able. Running can help us overcome obstacles. We gain confidence and empowerment in ourselves. When we religiously stick to a program, we see how dedicated we can be. We use our ambition, our initiative, to make sacrifices. What was difficult at first, we are able to do now without all that much sweat. Many beginning runners find it difficult to run around the block. But after they run for a while, they can run two miles. Not breathing nearly as hard as they did originally when they ran around that one block. If you run competitively, you can really see a lot of difference in your results. Competitive running can push your times greatly. You become aesthetic when you improve. I remember how much I improved through good coaching in high school. One example people like to tell me about was I couldn't hardly run these 800 meter runs in six minutes during practice, which is harder to do well than during a race because you have adrenaline going, you have all these other people competing against you. 
But by the time I was done, I was able to run almost three miles at 5.15 pace. I felt awfully good. This can be carried over to other areas of your life. Running is fabulous to maintain a healthy weight. We are obsessed with weight in our country. We have unhealthy extremes. On one side of the coin, we have people who are focused on this unrealistic ideal of fitness. Women are especially targeted with absurd models of fitness. Someone once told me we shouldn't push physical education too hard because people are in this category of unrealistic views of weight. But I believe we're not doing them a favor by not encouraging physical fitness because there are people in the other category who are sedentary, who eat too many animal products, who watch too much television, who don't exercise enough. Exercise helps you keep a healthy weight without having to resort to extreme measures of anorexia or bulimia. When you run, you can eat enough calories. You can eat healthy foods. Still be thin. Many runners find that they can eat almost anything they want without having to worry. The person who criticized me for wanting to push education, physical education, said, we should tell people it's okay to be heavy. No, we shouldn't. It's not healthy to be heavy. Surely some people have bigger bones than others. People have larger brains. But don't buy that low metabolism argument people like to use. There's very few cases of that. Very small percentage actually have a metabolic problem. Most fat people don't exercise. They did exercise, they would lose weight. There is a difference between fat on your body that is fine, that's not interfering with your health, but if someone's 300 pounds, they should exercise. well-rounded approach to weight loss is exercise. Don't try these stupid diets. Don't be anorexic or bulimic, but also care about yourself enough to become thin through exercise. Running is a terrific sport. You can do so much good for yourself by running. I hope you all are ready to start running. You can become so much happier, so much healthier, so much more fulfilled if you start a running program of at least three days a week, 30 minutes a day. Running is something I have not regretted. I cannot imagine life without it. It has been integral to me. It can be the same for you. Good night.